Thoroughbred racehorse owners Bob and Beverly Lewis know their way to the winner's circle. Now into the winner's circle, number one, the resplendency. Third by Bob and Beverly Lewis. Overseeing a vast and successful racing operation has given them plenty of opportunities to enjoy the thrill of victory. And they're off in the 131st running of the Belmont as Charismatic will try to claim a triple crown. Their relationship with horses has also provided its share of heartache. Charismatic right up on the pace. The Lewis's hard-knocking colt Charismatic was one race away from winning the triple crown. Charismatic's in between horses doing his best. Valiantly, he finished third at the Belmont, but as he crossed the finish line, he fractured a bone in his leg. The Lewises, like most concerned horse owners, wanted to reduce the frequency of injuries to all equine athletes. Because of the injury that Charismatic sustained, and then also one thing that seemed to always plague us was we were having leg and cannon bone problems. Colorado State University was working on a, a program of uh, research in that area. They increased the odds of finding out what happened and making sure it never happens again by establishing the Charismatic Fund at Colorado State University's Orthopedic Research Center. I think the information that came out of that was meaningful, meaningful not only to certainly ourselves, but meaningful to the thoroughbred industry. I think you ask any of these guys, they're very emotionally involved in the business as well. And you know, you don't want to have to lose an animal doing what it loves to do. And I think Mr. Lewis has shown that to the full extent. I mean, he's, he's contributed significantly to this program. And what we're seeing is what I'd consider a rather aggressive type of approach to trying to solve that problem. It is costly, but you know, I just think it's a responsibility that we as owners have to take with the business. The center searches for objective answers to a wide variety of pressing questions. We've developed four focuses of greatest need for the horse. One being prevention of early injury, two, early diagnosis of joint disease so we can treat it properly, treating cartilage defects because rightly or wrongly with everything being done correctly, we're still gonna end up with cartilage loss. And lastly, novel treatments for, for joint disease. I haven't met anybody who could, who could explain to me more precisely what, how to fix a horse and what's wrong with them. Known worldwide for joint problem prevention and healing research in the horse, the center aims to make life better for all horses, not just the elite equine athlete. The answers that we've obtained from looking at these race horses enables us to go and extrapolate to the 20-year-old horse in the pasture. Center researchers offer the best treatment possible for all clinical cases. The majority of the senior investigators involved in our program are also clinicians. You know, three of us are board certified surgeons and do clinical surgery as well as research and it keeps it in perspective. They critically assess the results to find new treatments. We had three markers and now we've got nine and that's a lot of work in the protein field. We used to look at the messenger RNA sequences for six genes and now we can measure 5,000. It's just mind-blowing where we've been able to come with the technology. Terms like early detection and prevention no longer seem unattainable. The industry is kind of dictating it in the sense that that's what they expect. They want us to be able to come up with ways to try to predict, are we going to have a problem? or predict, well, how well is this cartilage healing technique going to work? They are already engaged in the future, and I think that, that that's where our research efforts have been directed now. Well, the Orthopedic Research Laboratory at Colorado State doesn't have a peer. The real gratifying thing to me, being an equine uh, surgeon and a veterinarian who tries to put some of this stuff into practice, is they do their research without losing focus on the fact that they actually have an end target, the, the horse. They stay on that edge of the things that they are discovering and investigating are relatively quickly applicable to the patient in the, in the clinical situation where people like myself work. Colorado State University has done such a great job of investigating and researching injuries, and I can't, I can't emphasize can't enough how important all this has to be and continue on so that we can improve the lives 
for these horses at the racetrack and in training. Partnering with industry really helps bring the cutting edge technology to us straight away. I mean, we see what different technological advances are happening as they are being developed. There's a lot of things we can do to horses to treat their problems and bring them back to their athletic potential or to soundness depending on what type of work they do or what the owners want. Uh, but there's limits to what you can achieve just as in human orthopedics and so this has sort of allowed us to have a state-of-the-art facility to try and make things better for the horse. Ultimately, they hope to improve the health and quality of life for both humans and horses. I think I've found that generally with all our major donors that the idea that we can potentially benefit mankind as well as the horse is really attractive to them. It's nice to be able to give something back to something that's been so rewarding. And, you know, the aside and extra benefit to that is we're all going to get old and we're all going to have arthritis over time. And I cared about the animals initially, but I can see the long-term impact. The three of them working together are going to produce results that really will benefit horses and I, th I actually believe human beings. I am thrilled to be part of this. The center partnered with the world's premier human orthopedic clinic, Stedman Hawkins, to share insights and experience. Yeah, I think it's, it's basically mutual respect, two, two groups that are working for the same cause, to increase the quality of life for, for our patients, whether equine or human, and to increase their quality of life for the rest of their life, and that's our goal. The thing that gives me the most pleasure is, is finding an improved method of doing something, whether it's a diagnostic technique, an imaging technique, treatment technique, and then being able to go put it into the clinical arena. The center offers the best treatment possible, with the added benefit of impacting the future by advancing knowledge. I think most horse owners care, and I know myself as a horse owner, I do care, and therefore I want to do the right thing by the horse and that I can't think of a better place or a place that does more for developing future methods to do the right thing by the horse than the place that we're in right now. Success comes from being out on the front lines. It's only going to benefit the whole veterinary community and since I'm part of the industry I'm very appreciative of all the work that Wayne has done as well. Wayne and his colleagues have credibility and a reputation for being skillful and compassionate. He really is proud of his work and that's what I like about him. He's just so, uh, it, it makes him feel good. When I win a big race with one of those horses, it's like he won the big race also. The winning trainer, Bob Baffert. Their research provides depth to the science and hope to a community searching for answers. It's been an important part of my life, the association with the horse and with the people you meet through horses. I think that whatever we do for CSU will continue on and benefit people for years to come. Now, where they go.